Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some of these. I like pretty early on to get my lightest light in there because it's fun. everything else. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, it's and, fun. And, and you went with your yellow, your yellow oh, light. This is my. This is a Diane Townsend. I don't know what color it is exactly, but it's a real pale, pale yellow. It's a beautiful. Color. I don't think it's the lightest yellow that she makes. I think it's one of the one that it looks like a butter mint. So you don't, you don't hold off until the last to put those. Not moves. anymore. No, I mean thank I you. Yeah, when I learned, you. when I was learning pastel, I did it. I played by the rules. I know. Um, dark to light. You know, go through all your dark, darkest, and then the next lighter up from that, and then the next value up, all the way through the mid, mid tones, and then your lightest highlights go on last. But this, I find this to be much more effective when you're. Especially when you're working the whole painting, I like to work the whole painting. I like to build up all the different value, major value areas simultaneously because one area is going to look different. All these clothes are going to look different when the lightest light is not in there yet because mm -hmm. you're yes. comparing them to the mid value ground. But when you get the lightest value in there, then you're like, okay, here's my dark, here's my light, here's what's in between, and you can play up all the mid values. And, and everything in between. That's another reason why the underpainting is so important to be accurate in placement of everything because when you do paint this way and not going dark up to the light, you better know that where you're putting this in, that's where it's going to go and you're not going to need to change that position. You're going to have to wipe it out because you can't put dark over that. That's when you get mud. Okay. Get the rest of these lights in here, and I am kind of dabbing this in. Oh, look at the battery sort of heavy. Wherever it's the brightest is going to be the heaviest and thick. But then I'm laying it on with a lighter touch as it comes around because I'm seeing it not quite as thick of a bright light there. It's more like letting the gold primer show through it as it comes around. You're stroking from the inside out. Right. Yeah, but sometimes I'll go the other way. I mean, it just I'm going in the direction of the fence. It's the important part. Usually. Sometimes. No, you don't have to.